the American walks every day, normal, going to work. He's walking down town in Manhattan, and all of a sudden, two planes hit the Twin Towers, and they have no clue why would somebody do such a thing. The deliberate and deadly attacks which were carried out yesterday against our country were more than acts of terror. They were acts of war. Radical Islam has declared the war. Radical Islam is at war now with the West. When I saw the second airplane hit, I knew jihad has come to America. What happened in Bali and in Istanbul and now in Madrid are close to home for all of us. The tentacles of terrorism are reaching out to every corner of the world. London's worst attack since the Second World War a series of blasts rocked the capital during the busy morning rush hour. A shocking toll of dead and injured, dozens are described as in a critical condition. Beslan School number one is a scene of carnage tonight. Hundreds of children are feared dead. Every single country in the world is dealing with this on one level or another. You see that the Thais are dealing with it, you see that the Filipinos are dealing with it, the Europeans are dealing with it in Madrid, the Russians are dealing with it in Chechnya, and the British are dealing with it in London and in Manchester. And of course you see in the Middle East, whether it's in Iraq, in Iran, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Egypt, and of course in Israel, in Saudi Arabia, and you go to Africa and you see that jihadis are operating everywhere from Djibouti to South Africa. All of these areas that we refer to as separate wars, the Palestinian war in Israel, the Iraq war, they see all of these not as specific wars but as fronts in a global jihad. Right now it looks all too possible.